All right, today is the big day. It is the final reveal. I'm so excited you guys are here with me. I'm Danielle, the domestic scientist. For the last few weeks on my channel, I have been showing you guys just kind of the ups and downs and all the journeys I've had doing an open floor plan makeover project. So I have a home office, living room, dining room, entryway, and wet bar that I have been giving a fresh coat of paint. I've been sharing with you guys the ups and downs that I've had, and today I'm gonna show you the final results. Also, I have a couple of personal announcements and life updates. And I'm also going to introduce my next project. So let's get started. So before I show you guys the final results, I want to show you guys some of the raw footage of my house, just so you can see kind of why we painted. I have a wall of windows on the side and the sun can get really strong in here. And as you can see in that fireplace cutout where the horse is, it is like really yellow. And then what's crazy is at other times of the day, the paint can look really pink like you see here. And it was just a nightmare. We worked with it as best we could, but at some point we said it is definitely time to paint. So let's say goodbye to the before and let's take a look at the after. So I'm loving the way my living room looks. It just has a really nice soothing feeling and I'm really happy when I walk into the space. I think the paint color really just helps all the decor pieces pop out without competing against my decor. Now you're probably wondering what happened to my artwork. Um, I've decided not to hang it back up just yet because I'm not sure it's gonna stay where it is now. And it has more to do with this rug. So this is the first rug I purchased for my home and I really love the color now it's a little small for the space admittedly it is an 8 by 10 um, and it is a statement piece and actually so is the art and what I'm noticing is I have two divas in the same room that just I don't like the way they play together so I'm thinking um, because they're both statement pieces that I will probably take the artwork out and put it behind the bar and when it comes to the rug I don't think I'm gonna leave it in this room because I need more neutral pieces now that I have a channel I'm switching up my decor so much more that I want to make sure that I have the flexibility to create whatever looks I want in these rooms without feeling constrained. So now let's take a look at how the dining room came together. I just love the way the paint color looks in this room and I think it really makes the furniture pop. Now in the living room, I used a lot of natural elements with the straws and the woods. And so I thought I would bring that over into the dining room. Now I am using some wooden bowls on my place setting. And I also use a burlap charger for some extra natural elements and texture. Now I love a good blue and white shinrazeri. So I did use some shinrazeri plates along with a shinrazeri centerpiece. Now I don't have any shinrazeri in the living room because I think it would just be too competitive with the artwork and the rug that I have in that space so I think it will be okay if I just put a little bit in my dining room and of course I'm going to use some more shinrazeri pieces in the office. And now for the office. I actually think the paint color looks the best in this space just because of the dark furniture that I have in this room. Now, because I'm using this as a professional workspace, I wanted to make sure all of the decor items are very neutral and not really distracting as I do a lot of video conference calls. Now I have so much ceiling space and so I'm definitely gonna have to put more art in these rooms. Now that I love the way the walls are looking, art is a must. So I like to stand in the back of my dining room to cross check my work and to make sure that there is cohesion across the spaces. I'm looking for themes to carry out across the rooms. Now because all the paint is about the same color, we already know that we don't have a major paint situation happening, but I try to incorporate a lot of natural elements across all the spaces. So I do have wood and straw elements going on in the fireplace cutouts, so I was sure to put in a lot of wood on my dining table. And then when it comes to my office, I did put in a nice little piece of driftwood and a shell sphere 
in there. I have chinoiserie in my dining room, so I popped just one piece of chinoiserie in my office. Now there's no chinoiserie in the living room just because I don't like it with some of the other pieces that are there, but I do have healthy amount of blue and whites going on in the living room as well with my IMAX Hadley boxes that I just love so much. So overall, I think this look is very cohesive and very successful. I think it is a nice soothing look and I think it is perfect for the spring. So now that we've talked about what's working and what's successful in the space, we now need to talk about what really needs to change. And that is the curtains and the light fixtures. Now I did a shop with me for light fixtures and I had gone into town looking for some unique pieces. I found that light fixtures are so expensive and I need so many of them. So we decided to put that project on the back burner just because it's just not cost effective at this time. We decided to then focus on the drapes because we only have two windows to do and so we figured that would be an easier project now last week I did a virtual shop with me and the drapes were also astronomical in price I was so discouraged but then a wonderful thing happened Garrett put out a video now I'm not sure if you guys have heard of Garrett Lashik he is a wonderful youtuber um, who I've been conversing with online for a while and he has some great videos now one of the videos that I watched um, that he did that really helped me out uh, in this project was actually called The Science of Color. And he was like, watch this before you paint. And I was like, you know, taking notes and everything because it's kind of like a masterclass. And I learned some things about color. And so I decided I felt a little bit more comfortable picking a color after seeing his video. Now he's renovating his house and I'm renovating my house at the same time. And so sometimes I am always looking to see whenever he posts a new video because some of them are just right on time for me. But anyway, um, he just put out this video here about design advice and he really talked about curtains. And I was so discouraged about just how expensive curtains are and he pointed me in a great direction. So come next week, I am going to go to Etsy to purchase some curtains and I'll do a full review on that as well. So in the meantime, we decided to head over to Restoration Hardware to look at curtain rods. Now I have to tell you, I know that so many people sell curtain rods, but my husband is very particular about the curtain rods. Now at first I thought he was crazy, but as I got to talking to him and thinking about our past experiences, I totally understand why. So we've lived in several apartments um, as we got married and we have had the uh, blinds come out the wall because they didn't have proper supports. We had a house that we owned and we sold our house, our first house ourselves without a realtor. That was a fun experience for me. And we were getting ready for an open house the curtain rod that we had was a flimsy curtain rod, which Garrett has warned us about in his video. Um, but we had a flimsy curtain rod. And of course, it was a curtain rod that was there when we purchased the house. So we just kept it. And right before... Um, our open house the curtain rod just comes out the wall because it just wasn't properly supported and the curtains were not even heavy they're actually the blue curtains that are um in my house right now and they're not even heavy curtains and this so i was just like are you kidding me so i know that i want a blackout curtain because um the the windows that i'm trying to cover are right in the front of the house and i want my privacy especially at night i don't want people outside to be able to tell if i'm up if i'm walking around if i'm sitting at my desk editing video like I don't want to just be visible from outside and that's what we've got going on right now I mean the curtains we have give almost no privacy and they might as well be sheer so I definitely want a heavy curtain so for that reason I need to make sure I have a strong sturdy curtain rod now restoration hardware let me tell you they're expensive when it comes to a curtain rod first because they don't just sell you the rod they sell you like several pieces so you pick the rod and the size of the extension rod is going to depend on the size of your window so of course if you have a larger window you pay more that's one thing about HGTV they get you hyped up about lots of natural light and big windows but when you have to cover those things it gets very expensive very quickly um, but anyway you also buy the finials separately the support brackets separately and of course you can buy the, the rings now 
I have not gotten the rings because I'm not sure what type of curtain I'm gonna get. And quite frankly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get my curtain rings from them. But I definitely wanted to make sure that the supporting structure um, was very solid. So we did get the brackets, the curtain extender rod, and the finials. Now, there's a lot of back order going on right now. So while we did order what we wanted, the finials are not gonna arrive till July, but everything else should come fairly quickly. And I will definitely do an unboxing for you guys. I'm super excited. I love restoration hardware. I've purchased a lot of dupes, but I've never actually purchased anything from the store until now. Now I will say I love the way they put their display up so you can kind of really get an idea of the finishes and the finials and the type of quality that you're going to get um, before you make a purchase. So for me, that was really important. Um, we did try some other stores like Pottery Barn. Um, the quality just was not the same as the Restoration Hardware pieces. And so I know it's gonna be expensive, but this is one of those things that we're just going to invest in um, just because of all the nightmares my husband has had in the past with the the curtain rods and with the blinds. So on this side of the wall, they have custom curtain rods that you can get. And apparently they're like four times the cost of the other ones. And so I'm just going to show you guys this. Um, what I like about these rods though, is instead of just having that one, um, a screw to hold them in they have four screws on each of them and so I know those are going to be a lot more sturdy and I'm guessing that if you have like two-story ceilings or something um, that something like this custom rod is going to be more significant for you but um, for me it's not necessary but what's crazy is some of these to me kind of give me that shower curtain vibes so I now I'm glad that I'm seeing them in the store because definitely some of these I would not be interested in but I do like the fact that they have a nice little selection of brass pieces because brass is really coming back and I like that crystal one at the top but it is so expensive now what I like about those um crystal finials at the end of this particular rod is that they do have some crystal lamps that have the same type of um, cut to them so it would look really nice if you had those curtain rods with those lamps so while we were in restoration hardware, I saw this light fixture and it was so mesmerizing. I love all the colors. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, interestingly enough, I had seen this light fixture online and I really didn't care for it, but seeing it in the store, it is just so beautiful. So I'm definitely gonna look for a dupe for this piece. So watch out for that virtual shop with me. Okay, so now I wanna to talk to you guys about my upcoming project and I wanna share a little bit of news with you all. So this is my sunroom. I like to call it the Christmas room because the walls are green and the floors are red. Um, it is right off of my kitchen and it's one of those spaces, it's a linear space, but it's part of the open floor plan you can't see all of it from the front door, but you can certainly see into the living room from the bay window. Now, when I initially purchased this house, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with the space in the bay window, but I had thought about creating a casual seating area in this space and having four um, chairs and I wanted them to face each other and I just wanted a coffee table in the center. So that was my initial thought process for this space. On the other side of the sunroom, I have a table um, because it's right off the kitchen, so it's gonna be my, my kitchen table. So I'll have casual seating and casual dining as well as formal seating and formal dining in my house. So that was initially the plan. Um, at the start of the pandemic though, I did get laid off along with so many people um, whose industries were hit really hard by the pandemic. However, the good news is I did just start a job last week and so I will be working from home full time now. So that is exciting for me. However, it does pose a little bit of a challenge because as you know, my husband does also work from home a couple of days a week. So now we both need a dedicated workspace. Now, that being said, I do have a couple of guest rooms that I could potentially use, but I really like the prospect of using the bay window because there's so much natural sunlight and then I would be able to see and converse with my husband throughout the day. So I'm looking into using this area as a second office. I'm not sure if I would work out of here or if my husband would. Um, so much is still up in the air about that, but I'm excited to be sharing this journey with you guys. 
So I am thrilled to be finished with the first part of my home makeover. I love the way the paint has come together. I am so looking forward to my next project and I'm looking forward to finding light fixtures and wall treatments and everything just to bring the whole look together. I'm so excited that you guys have stuck around for today's video. I also wanna give a special thank you to Garrett Lashik who has a wonderful channel and his advice has been invaluable towards helping me complete these projects. I am Danielle the Domestic Scientist. I have a lifestyle channel here on YouTube. Right now my lifestyle is all about getting my house right. So I hope you guys will continue to join me along my journey. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.